we've got a quorum. Uh, so, um, Veer, you want to take us through the upcoming viewers process? Sure. So, uh, biggest development uh, this week is the uh, mesh uploader viewer has been promoted. That's now the default download and uh, has some has some features that we think should be helpful for folks who need to upload meshes. Um, it's just changes for that. So if you're doing anything else, you're probably different. Um, Roadmap for upcoming viewers after that uh, is, you know, not super well defined at this point. We're, we've got the usual ongoing series of maintenance viewers, um, which, uh, you know, will be continuing. But uh, we've got a few other viewers that have been stuck for one reason or another. There's a... Um, Custom key mappings viewer, which I think is out on a project viewer now that uh, we're hoping to get into an RC. Um, there's some UI changes uh, in a, a viewer that's specifically devoted to UI changes, some inventory and so on. Um, that again, hopefully we can get into RC fairly soon. Uh, there's the profiles viewer. The legacy profiles viewer has been a little stuck for a while, um, waiting on some input from the web team. Um, based on some discussions this week, I'm a little hopeful that we'll be able to get it unstuck and uh, may take a little different approach to getting it out, but uh, don't know for sure yet. Keep an eye out for. Um, I think those are the main kind of viewers that might be going to RC next uh, beyond just the the maintenance ones. But, uh, of course, as usual, we'll keep everybody posted as this changes. Questions about any of that?
Is is what published yet the mesh upload stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's the release that went out this week. So the if you go to go to the downloads page and and get the current default viewer, it should include all of that stuff. Um, the viewer documentation issue. Um, it turned out that the the back end of that had not been updated in. Uh, that is the wiki the Sorry, the website content, which is derived from the viewer help wiki content, had not been updated in several years. And it turns out that the programs that converted it into the form the website expected and all that um, didn't, were no longer working. So when we, when we went through the process of trying to migrate those to AWS, it just turned into uh, a, the sort of exercise where you pull on a thread and the entire sweater falls apart. So we, um, since it hadn't been updated in a long time, we just decided it was time to tire it. And uh, the hope is that at some point we will come back and replace it with something easier to maintain and more up to date. But for the time being, uh, we figured it was it was better to just pull it. A lot of the information it pointed at was um, distressingly out of date. And anything we'd added in the last, you know, seven years or something wasn't documented at all. Uh, coffee, not that I can see. Um, I wasn't aware of either of those. Um, they are still... Marked as open. That is, the internal issues are open.
I would say uh, push toward release uh, for the for the Eep stuff. We've got the graphics folks working on uh, more kind of long-term architecture stuff at this point. A lot of um, a lot of long deferred issues that they haven't been able to look at because they've been in bug land for so long. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that you should basically consider the EAP fixes to be done, and in, in terms of being high priority fixes, there, are, there are of course always a list of rendering bugs, and we will attempt to address some of them from time to time in in the regular main viewer streams but we aren't going to devote a, a team to that process anymore. We, it is what it is at this point. Uh, as far as performance is concerned, we, we have asked a whole bunch of times for very specific configurations with very specific tests because generally speaking we are not getting the results on our viewer um, because generally speaking we are not seeing what other people are telling us they're seeing so it's if we can't repro it we can't fix it and we are having trouble reproing performance differences at least performance differences on the scale that some people have been telling us they see. Um, I, I appreciate that you have beta testers that are seeing a problem, unless they're seeing it on our viewer. It's, it's an issue. It's hard for us. So, Give them, give them a love me render viewer and see if they can demonstrate it and then record all the agonizing details about exactly how the problem is demonstrated and feed them to us and then <clears throat> we'll, we'll try to address them. Uh, performance problems are always uh, a pain in the neck, but there you go. Well, I mean. We we have a lot of uh, graphics issues, uh, you know, in the pipeline to to look at as we have time. Um, if anybody has linked particular ones, um, look.
Uh, maybe maybe if you give uh, if you give Fear the or Ptolemy the URL, the, 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 a slurl to your house when we uh, when we get around to playing with the 512 memory limit, we can use it as a test site. Any other issues, questions, concerns? All righty. Well, we will uh, go back to building and breaking things. Appreciate everybody coming. See you next time. Thanks, everyone.